Hello? Greetings, Martin. This is Francois. Are you still interested in dropping the archiving work? Passing it to somebody else? Well, you know my opinion on those loads of old papers. So how about you leave the archive for a while? What's the deal? Another boring visit to the English border in search of some old books? Not this time. Let's see. Year 1945. A freshly discovered German mine from around the end of war. Are you for real? Where? Western Bohemia. When are we setting off? Unfortunately, I'm not as young as I used to be. You'll have to go alone. But I can tell you more from over here. Are you free this afternoon? Settled. Good. Come as soon as possible. I'm relying on you, Martin. Uncle's news was a bit mysterious, but that only made my curiosity grow. A new German mine. Now that's a discovery that doesn't take place every day. But why the haste? It's almost five now. Time to find out more. Thank you for not being late. Things have accelerated. I I'm listening. Only a few people know what I will tell you now. And that's how it must stay. Have you ever heard of the German war project, Nibiru? Nibiru? The, the 12th planet? What's that got to do with the German? Yes, the 12th planet. The German would have given anything for a technology that would help them out in their situation. Imagine what technology of another highly evolved race would mean to them. But the Twelfth Planet is just a myth. Is that what you think? I too used to not believe, but that's unimportant now. The important thing is that the Germans did believe. And more than that, I've collected a lot of facts throughout the years, and I think that they weren't far from the goal. I have neither an idea where they got, nor what exactly they had discovered, but Nibiru certainly is not just a myth. Yes, go on. There's no time left now for me to clue you into all of my findings. However, Nibiru does exist, I'm certain. But let's get to work. The information about the discovery comes from my contact in Prague. Everything has been arranged. You will go to Prague and meet her in the Charles Bridge. What? Tonight? Her? That contact of yours, is she a woman? Exactly. We have to act quickly. The permit for entering the site of discovery and all available information will be given to you over there. This is quite a rush. What do you expect me to find there anyway? I don't know yet. You see, towards the ends of war, the Germans were hiding everything of value so that the Allies wouldn't seize it. The results of their archaeological research has never been found. There is no lead as to where to look for the miser. However, at the end of April 1945, Bohemia was in fact the only German-controlled territory. How do I recognize this woman? The Charles Bridge is a hectic place in the daytime, but you will arrive late at night when it's almost deserted. And she already has your picture. Everything has been settled. Her name is Barbara. The flight ticket is in the envelope in front of you. Martin, this might be big. All right. I'll call you after I've arrived at the meeting place. Good luck. I left the mansion with little more information than I had when I came in. My uncle appears to be very confident about the whole thing, though. Let's set off to look for answers in the heart of Europe. I arrived in Prague late at night. A cab brought me downtown, and the Charles Bridge was just around the corner. I'm a bit late. Hopefully Barbora has been patient and is still waiting for me. Barbora is not here. Perhaps I arrived too late.
Ah, good evening, sir. Would you like a crayon portrait of yourself? No, thanks. I'd just like to ask about something. Oh, bien sûr. Just wait till I'm done with this painting, eh? No problem, always. The stand hosts a half-finished crayon drawing. Nice work. A tourist. He's enjoying the night scenery. St. Thomas's statue. The statue was restored in 1957. Latava's waves are glittering in the moonlight. A splendid evening, isn't it, sir? Yes, very nice. So, you're interested in my humble stand of art? Have a look at these beautiful paintings of Prague. I'm afraid I'm interested in something else. You see, I'm looking for a woman from around here. Love has brought you here, eh? No, I can't say that. Rather, it's an important rendezvous. Oh, you have chosen a very good place for such an opportunity, sir. And a warm night, I must say. It's not what you think. We're just meeting here. In fact, we don't even know each other. Pity, isn't it? It seems I didn't arrive on time, though. She must have left already. She was supposed to wait right here by this statue. Didn't you happen to notice her? You're right. I did catch a glimpse of a woman. Oh, naturally, not many women wander through here at such a late hour. She was standing here for nearly an hour, anxiously looking about. I was supposed to meet her tonight. Can you tell me more? Uh, maybe. The trouble is, uh, I got distracted by a man who came here a short while before the woman shows up. Huh? A man? A tourist, uh, or maybe just someone taking a walk, I'm not sure. <laughs> not a detective, you see. But uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to continue with my painting now. I'd still like to talk about that woman. It's important. Oh, all right. I'll tell you more. But you leave me to my words then, agreed? You've cost me a lot of time already. Agreed. So, a few minutes before she turned up, a man came to your stand and wanted a portrait? A strange person. Before I was able to finish the portrait, he left and was out paying. What insensitivity to art. Look, my time is limited too. If I refund what you've lost on that portrait, will you tell me what I need to know? Gladly, I'll even throw in the portrait itself. Five hundred crowns, and we've got a deal. That's quite a sum of money, don't you think? It's a good price. Was the portrait finished, it would cost you a thousand. Okay, deal. Give me that painting, and tell me what you know at last. Very well. She was uh, standing here for some time, and seemed to be getting more and more anxious. Then she leaned against the Saint Thomas statue, and I could see she was writing something in a rather airy manner. But before I turned again, she was gone. Oh well, that doesn't exactly make me more aware of what happened. You wanted to know everything I'd seen, and that's what you got. Okay, thanks anyway. Enjoy the rest of the evening, sir. There is nothing to talk about. The pedestal is a massive block stone. I'll have a closer look. There was a piece of paper slid under the label.
I couldn't wait any longer. Somebody knows everything. The professor will tell you where I live. Come see me there. I hope you will find this message. Barbora. Professor? Yes, Martin. What's going on? I've just arrived at the designated place, but Barbora isn't here. A painter saw her about an hour ago. She must have left already. That's bad. You've got to meet her today. We don't have time to waste. There's another thing, Professor. He told me she seemed quite anxious. In fact, it's possible that she was being followed. If you know anything that I don't, you better say it now. Martin? You know everything that I can possibly tell you now. You've got to trust me. How is it possible that somebody was following her? Could anybody know that we were supposed to meet? I have no idea. Hopefully it's a false alarm, or perhaps Barbara has just panicked. I think it would be best for you if you went directly to her apartment. That's about the only way to know what happened for sure. She lives in Chakovny Street 52. Her complete name is Barbara Kenska. And hurry up. All right, I'll set off right away. I called a cab and went to the house where Barbora lived. Hopefully she'll be home. If only I had more time, I'd have a drink or two. Chikovny Street, Praha 1. A couple of ads and ragged cinema programs, nothing else. locked. Nobody is answering. There is no answer. Where could she be? I'll have to try another doorbell to get inside the house. Hopefully somebody will be willing to open the door at this late hour. Good evening. I need to get inside the house, and it's locked. Can you let me in? It's locked, because it's late already. Who are you, anyway? My name is Martin Holen. I've come to see Miss Barbora Kanska. I need to talk to her right away. Would you open the door for me? Mrs. Kanska does live here, but I don't know you. I'm sorry, but I won't open the door. Come back when she's home. Good evening. I, I'd like to ask whether you could open the door to the house for me. I must talk to Miss Barbora Kanska. Do you even know what time it is? We lock the house so that people like you don't hang about causing trouble. If Barbora knows you, ring her bell. But she isn't answering. Damn. It. Um, pizza delivery for number 31. At night? You think I'm crazy? I'm tired and I want to get some sleep. Leave me alone! <laughs> By the way, there's no number 31 in here. The delivery boy didn't exactly work out. Good evening. Can you open the door for me? Why the hell are you ringing? It's bloody late. I I'm sorry, I've come to see Miss Kanska. Would you let me in? H hello God damn it. What do you want? I urgently need to get inside your house to see Miss Kanska. 
See Miss Barbora. Why don't you ring her bell then? Uh, she isn't answering, but I believe she's home. We were supposed to meet this evening, but she didn't turn up. I've been trying for some time now. She should be home. Oh, I certainly hope she's all right. I'll let you in immediately. Uh, thank you. If there's anything wrong, please ring number 12 and let me know, okay? I, I guess she's probably just fallen asleep. Don't worry. Yes, hopefully it's just that. You're probably right. Okay, bye. Bye. The worries might be justified, though. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Cards with messages for the lodgers. I can't see anything special. It's dark in here. I can't read most of the names. I can't see Barbora's letterbox here. The lodger's letterboxes. I'll have a look. Here, I found it. Barbora Konska, flat number 17, fifth floor. Taking the elevator will be faster. Only use in case of fire emergency. Number 14, Vaclav Richter. Number 17, that's it, Barbora's flat. The lights went out inside. There must be somebody in the flat. Strange. There's no answer. More than strange. I could swear the lights were on. Quiet! There's people trying to sleep! I need to find another way to get inside. Most of the messages bear a recent date. Oh, I missed this one the first time around. Please note, the keys to the attic are back in the highest floor by the fire extinguisher as usual. I can't see one step in front of me. I won't move. I felt the switch.
lots of cardboard boxes, empty glasses, and other junk. It's full of dust. Several meters of a strong rope. An old solid fuel stove. It supports the roof. The corner is completely dark. I can't see anything. There's nothing in it. The wardrobe is supported by a few bricks. Something's rolled away into a hole between the boards. Ouch! Damn, a nail! Okay, let's do this carefully. There's something inside it shimmering beautifully. A window covered with dust. I'll wrap the rag around my hand. I don't want to cut myself. I should remove the remaining pieces of glass. I should remove the remaining pieces of glass. All the glass has been removed. I'll try something. What happened? My head hurts like hell. I don't feel exactly great about this. And what's all this mess about? <laughs> 